hard to keep up with what's happening with AI stocks. One day it's NVIDIA, the next day it's some company I've never heard of. So I built a system, five layers, each one covers a different part of the AI supply chain. Now I don't care which company wins, I hold the whole ecosystem. Here's a framework I use. I'm Brian CPA, over 15 years in finance. So layer one is the brains. Every AI model runs on chips. NVIDIA is up over 2000% in five years just because their GPUs train chat GPT, power Tesla is self-driving and run every data center on earth. The ETF SMH holds the entire supply chain. NVIDIA, Broadcom, AMD, uh, TSMC for Canadians by uh, 8x chp.to same stocks canadian dollars no conversion fees layer two is the lungs so here's what most people miss ai chips use 10 times more electricity than normal servers nvidia's new blackwell chips need more power than small towns need the grid can't handle it so who wins it's the builders pa pave uh, owns companies rebuilding the grid, Quanta Services, Eaton, Train, No Infrastructure, No AI. In Canada, ZGI.to is your closest option. Layer three would be the hands. AI is moving from chatbots to robots. NVIDIA CEO Jensen calls this the next trillion dollar opportunity. BOTZ uh, bots holds physical AI, Fanuc in uh, Japan, intuitive surgical in hospitals. This is how AI enters the real world. Canadians, RBOT.to is the exact same fund on the TSX. Layer four is the landlords. Instead of betting on which tech companies win, own the buildings they have to rent. DTCR owns the data centers, REITs, uh, Equinox, Digital Realty, Amazon, Microsoft, Google. They're all tenants. You collect rent from the AI boom. No Canadian equivalent for this one. Hold, hold it in your RRSP. Layer five is a fuel. This one, not as many people are talking about, but AI needs power 24 seven. Solar stops at night, wind dies down, base load power that never stops. It's nuclear. Microsoft signed a deal to restart Three Mile Island. Amazon's buying nuclear power data centers. Google partnered with Keros Power. URA, URA, holds the uranium miners supplying the fuel. No power, there's no AI. For Canadians, HURA.TO, same exposure, trades on the TSX. There's many layers to this. It's hard to pick the winners. It's nice to own the entire supply chain. You know, most of your portfolio should be something boring like XEQT. Don't let people like me or anyone else influence you online and changing your entire portfolio. This is just something to research into. If you already are looking at this and have an interest, please like and follow for more content like this.